Welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm Madeline, your tarot reader and energy healer. So great to have you here, Water Signs of Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, for this reading for January uh, 17 through 23. So I, I did the video and it had stopped and there were some complications. And so I really feel like the right cards came out, the right message came out uh, for this week. I mean, I, I feel like I'll just keep the cards out and we'll just uh, do the video over again. And it'll probably be a lot better this time. So let's start by asking for divine guidance and blessings on the reading. Okay, so uh, from the uh, Clyburn and Reed uh, Spirit Animal deck, we have the Mouse Spirit and the Nightingale Spirit. And uh, for the Mouse, we're taking a look at um, both, you know, dealing with the small things. I mean, mice are small. You can think about, you know, mice maybe in those little videos where, you know, they live in the little tiny houses and they sit on a thimble and get all those cute little things and so also I really feel that uh, the energies of the uh, sacral chakra are coming out in this with the orange and that has to do with uh, fertility they're very fertile uh, creativity and um, sexuality and all of those kind of things uh, wrapped up in the uh, sacral chakra and the womb and uh, so as we look at this, it makes sense because we have the four, which is uh, cancer, you know, the house, uh, the fourth house, um, cancer energy, mother, uh, womb nurturing. So this week, you're really being drawn to some of those um, elements of the uh, divine feminine, uh, bringing out kind of the simple uh, little things of life uh, and also being brought into a family. And so, you know, whether you have a, a family with children or, you know, whether you are in a soul family, um, connection with friends that are like family, if you don't have that, it's something really important to look for because as you... Um, develop a really solid uh, family unit um, that will make a big difference in your life. So as you uh, develop that family, the underneath of the deck, kind of the uh, uh, moon, you know, energies, love is all around. So uh, I love, you know, how it has that color of love, the heart chakra green. I know we think of red, but in a lot of ways, it's the color of love. It's also a progression from 40 to 41. So that was kind of cool. The two cars came out in a progression, moving on to the five. So this, you know, home stability into as things are changing, know that, you know, love is all around you. It's there for you uh, to bless you. And the nightingale sings, you know, just before the sun comes out again. So it reminds us that even at that darkest time, uh, the the change is coming, uh, light is coming, the dawn is coming, uh, things are coming to pass in our lives. And so looking uh, for the, uh, the love from those around you, and it's good to, you know, really accept and receive the love that's being given. Okay, so when we take a look at the uh, tarot for this reading, the first card that came out is the Emperor. Now, it's fascinating because this card came out in every single reading. So this is the fourth reading that I've done for this week. Um, you know, we did the air, fire, earth, and water signs. And the Emperor has come out in all four readings. And it's the number four. The um, emperor is about, you know, stability and strength, uh, knowing what you want to do, knowing what decision to make. <clears throat> and uh, it Aries, and I also feel, you know, strong identity. I also feel like uh, for some of you, there's a person in your life 
who has the uh, male energy, kind of the opposite of this uh, mouse. You know, the male, the strong male energy. In fact, you can see him like crushing this mouse with his foot and hardly realizing that he did it. You know, so he has this really strong male energy. He has this strong dragon. You know, he has strength all about him, the scepter. Uh, so there may be someone who you feel um, very different then and I kind of got that from this next card that came out which to me you know this this girl she's sitting in this happy place uh feminine energy she's really enjoying uh nature and with the bee here maybe it's the honey that the bee has produced around her in the cups kind of like a Winnie the Pooh likes his um, honey. And I think of her, in this case, maybe the daughter of the emperor. And she's like, there's no way that I'm going to sit, you know, there next to the emperor and learn how to rule a kingdom. I have a completely different path. I have a different goal. And the thing is, is that both are just as important. But we can't um, put our identity, our direction, our goal on other people. And so, you know, whether we are being drawn, you know, this week, I think in some ways you'll be drawn more toward, you know, the identity of this um, a strong male or more toward the identity of his daughter. And uh, so I think that you will have maybe even a, a mixing of the two, but maybe also kind of with finding who you are more and picking uh, these different roles and so as you move into this you know some of the things that the uh, father may have created you know this uh, war and so in this when this card comes into the reading it's kind of a time for a choice it's a, a five energy as well she can choose um, to feel bad about war to feel bad about being the winner uh, you know it's kind of weird but you know you know, kind of that energies of, you know, where she can choose to bring this energy into her heart in, internally, no matter where she is in the world. And so, you know, those who maybe have lost versus those who have won, but does it all, does it really matter about winning and losing? You know, it's more about, um, you know, finding that peace, solace, and happiness in our hearts. And so the the king of cups may be another person that comes into your life. Um, that's a water sign, uh, Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. Or it uh, may be just the energies of um, a true um, emotional intelligence at the highest level. And as that enters your life, an understanding of your emotions on a new level, sitting above it, above those energies, all of those emotions rolling around you, sitting above that, you know, and taking some of this um, energy from the ultimate king. And so as he, you know, as he sits here in his power and authority over his emotions, you know, in this case, and he also has um, a a scepter. It's a beautiful scepter. You know, the flower uh, reminds me of a flower I've been thinking about. Um, I had a patient who, um, I'm a dentist, and I had a patient who gave me a, um, a plant. And he said, this is my wife's plant, and she's uh, dying of cancer. And I'd like to give it to you. And so I, I had the, but he wasn't able to come in anymore because he was dealing, you know, taking care of his wife. I was taking care of the plant. And then uh, one day it, it bloomed and this beautiful blossom came out. And I found out that the same month uh, his wife passed away. And so I felt like it was his wife uh, talking to us and saying to us, you know, I'm here, I'm blessing you uh, with this beautiful flower. 
And so he, he, when he came back in, I told him the story and how that same month, um, his wife passed away that we received the flower. So, you know, it has that beautiful, you know, love is, love is all around. We are supported by, you know, our guides, our angels, those who have gone before to guide and to bless us into this emotional intelligence. And so as we move along, the last card that came out, the uh, five of wands. So we have three fives, five, five, five. So you may want to look up the number five, five, five um, for, you know, go on Google, put in five, five, five and uh, see what your messages are that come out in Google for this week. And that will enhance the reading. Of course, this is the two. Um, sorry about that. I, I can't read today. But um, I still think you should look at 555 because we were drawn. I was felt like I was being drawn to that. So uh, in the Two of Wands, I feel this really has the energy of waiting and stillness, of, of visualizing, manifesting, um, manifestation, and uh, following your heart, intuition, um, opening the uh, crown chakra and those energies and uh, in the stillness in the waiting you know we we will um, be given answers and here we can see the you know in both cases that's a stillness and waiting in your life that you're being called to this week so I think that I, I really feel you know you have um, both the the emperor and the mother um, in the same reading and so you really are bringing together uh, breaking together and connecting uh, the energies of the divine masculine and the divine feminine in your life and um, bringing those together in love so I did I pulled some uh, cards from the tarot uh, to help explain you know the emperor more so why is the emperor in this reading it's the hangman the lovers, the king of swords, and the emperor again. So the way I I see this, the way I'm feeling this, is as the the hangman um, is kind of looking for a new perspective, stillness, uh, that stillness, that waiting, that watching, that uh, time in meditation, um, opening up to your intuition. So as that has been happening, you know, this darkness before the dawn. So as that is unfolding in your life, um, you will follow your heart into decisions that are heart-based. And so as those decisions lead you into those heart-based things, you'll have a much uh, stronger clarity in your life that will lead to this uh, stability, strength, um, knowing who you are and what direction um, you are to play and I'm, I'm being drawn to the serpent and you're kind of that um, maybe do some kundalini um, meditation and bring up the serpent from the uh, from the base uh, up through to the crown bring that uh, serpent energy the uh, true self identity so I think that it helps a lot with that. So um, having the, the benefit myself of this week of being in a, uh, a guided uh, meditation group. And that's one of the things we're talking about is having this uh, kundalini energy come into your life. So the last thing that we do in these readings is take a look at the Whispers of Love Oracle and the uh, wellness deck. So the Whispers of Love Oracle that came out is be supportive. So can you see the beautiful? So the angel is here supporting her, holding her up. You know, it's kind of like the the, the famous uh, scene from superheroes is when, you know, uh, Superman uh, takes his love up through the clouds 
and uh, he's uh, supporting her and helping her to uh, fly. You know, she couldn't fly otherwise, but, you know, he's helping her to fly. So here's this um, angel, probably a Razael with the uh, rainbow colors. And he's helping, you know, his beautiful love to fly, be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. So the first step to having this uh, soul family in your life is to really show that you care. And it's so hard to show that you care if you haven't had the opportunity to really know who you are and to bring in that identity. And that happens the best uh, through that time of uh, meditation and contemplation and having a new perspective. So let's take a look at the book 45. Let's see what messages are in here. So 45 dials down to 9. 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay. Some extra support and care is all that is needed. Encourage someone and recognize the effort they are making. Being supportive will help create harmony and peace. Just as the angels support us in all things, be willing to support the ones you love. Find something that interests your partner, whether they are passionate about a charitable cause, a, charitable cause, a sport, or a hobby. Take an interest in their endeavors. Make a point of showing up and helping out. It is easy to avoid taking part because you don't share an interest in that pastime. Learn about why someone is so passionate about what they are doing. This type of support can really mean the world to someone and foster better communication and appreciation. With time, this might be something you enjoy too. So, um... You know, it's interesting because I was raised to, ha you know, there was no sport, no TV in the home, no sports in the home. Uh, we kind of were taught that competition's bad, so we didn't look at any of the uh, major sports. And so many people, you know, have a real love of uh, football and uh, or baseball or basketball and different things like this. So... You know, I could, I could look at somebody that I'm meeting and think, oh, well, they're really into football and I'm not. So, oh, well. On the other hand, you know, it's kind of nice to know why football means so much to them. Maybe you'll find out that, you know, their dad uh, watched football um, every Monday night and it just meant so much, uh, much to them to watch football with him. And to have that connection. And so when they're watching the game, you know, yes, they care about the game. They care about the players. They care about their team. But they also really are feeling that um, connection with that person that maybe they don't have anymore in their life. So being supportive of people coming outside of your comfort zone and learning more about them really makes a difference. So let's take a look at the message from the wellness deck. So we'll put some Reiki energy into the card. All the cards we used Reiki energy to help find the cards. Okay. I see this day as a positive new beginning. It's never too late to have a new beginning. So here's the sun. So as the sun comes up, and that's what this card is all about, you know, the knowing that the sun is coming up every day. You know, as the sun uh, comes up in your life, you have a new beginning. You have a new chance to choose to be positive, choose to be happy. Uh, today and tomorrow can be very different from yesterday. If you can let yesterday go and focus on today, today and tomorrow about your now vibration 
and you have complete control over that. Look for things to feel good about and watch how everything in your life will unfold to reflect that good feeling vibration. So if you want to learn more about um, manifestation, um, connecting with uh, higher vibrations, uh, Abraham Hicks, uh, you know, is a really good thing to listen to um, on uh, YouTube. And you'll find tons and tons of things there for no, no extra fees. So thank you so much for coming to the reading. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks for coming all the way to the end. And I will uh, see you next week.